Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. This is Spike Viper and we're going to be playing with Antimatter, the, you know, the thing I've been playing with a lot recently. Where we're going to try to accelerate a star using antimatter into another star. Where we're going to we're going to make an antimatter cannon because that's just a lot of fun. Come on guys. Come on. Antimatter cannons, you can't be a good antimatter cannon. All we need is a massive black hole. Absolutely massive black hole right here. There we go. Here is our massive black hole. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add a star. Just the sun. Let's see what we can do with just the sun. Good start. So massive black hole. We get the sun. We're going to put the sun by the black hole like here. Notice how the sun is getting eaten and dying. Didn't mean- oh, never mind. Well, we really screwed that up. Let's try again. Okay, black hole. <laughs> Let's take two, everyone. Take two. I'm capable. Okay, now we're gonna get the sun. We're gonna put the sun away from the black hole. We're not going to unpause. We're going to set the black hole to negative mass, which is now antimatter, and it's rejecting. It has negative gravity now, so it should accelerate the star this way. And now we're going to put a much bigger star for it to smack into. Now the sun is closer, so it'll be accelerated faster. So we're going to put this all the way over here so that there's a big difference in speed because this is getting accelerated away as well so we we want the difference in speed to be pretty great so let's go to the sun let's slow down the simulation by quite a bit and let's see if this antimatter cannon works <laughs> we've done some testing with things like this but not on this scale this is a completely different scale some would even say it's i i don't have a joke for the word scale i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't i don't have one Aaron, you want to you want to pitch one in scale joke me you calling me fat oh my god Aaron made fun of me Aaron called me fat i'm sad so we can see that the sun has quite a bit of speed gaining here let's go in terms of light speed and if we speed things up the Sun is gaining quite a fraction of light speed in speed and as we go to seconds oh wow already at 1% light speed and we're barely even moving oh my god okay we're now moving 20% of light speed towards UI Scuddy but we're, we're going to go faster than light speed when we hit, and we're probably going to be more than one light speed in difference. Oh, maybe not, because we're getting too far away. Okay, you know what? 30% light speed is still pretty fast. This is, uh, this is pretty brutal. UI Scuddy is just not getting enough speed out of this. It's it's about uh compared to light speed it's not even at one percent yet so yeah the the distance is the big thing if we start it very far away we can get it basically nothing so the sun is about to strike i don't really know what happens when you smash two stars at each other this fast should supernova but also the sun would probably just go straight through it in real holy what why did it make a wedge of cheese what the heck antimatter cannon wow that's really laggy i have no clue this this looks very interesting i'm gonna be honest this this is a really interesting looking explosion different than normal my face is disappearing the antimatter is too strong okay oh my god look at it look at that explosion man that is a really powerful <laughs> That is a really powerful blast. Um, let's let it expand a bit. Thumbnail moment. Yeah, no kidding. Wait, there's a second. There's a second supernova coming out. What? There's two. 
Not one. There's two. How did that happen? Did it go through it? The, the, the sun went through you, Ice Goody. It went through it. It went through it. The supernova went through you, Ice Goody. Oh my god. That is absolutely insane. I have never seen anything like that before. How? How did we just get a double supernova? Yo! They're just growing next to each other. And they'll never touch! This one is moving away at the same rate as this one is growing. So they will actually never touch each other. They'll just always be next to each other and scale differently. And you can see the different colors as well. Because of the different makeups. There we are. We can actually see right here... Oh, they're being accelerated from the black hole still. Here's the sun. Where is it? The sun is... It says it's right here. Oh, the sun has just glitched out of reality. It's just broken. When you move the screen, the sun moves with it. Oh, God. Man, look. Look at the... That is just an absolutely insane explosion we got two different supernovas out of it what would happen if it touched earth i think i think we would honestly instantly vaporize earth but let's see if this antimatter cannon will work on the small scale if you put earth against sagittarius a then it hit what well, should be a force of 2.41 e to the 26th newtons that seems pretty exciting i think we should do that so let's go ahead and get Sagittarius A. Let's get an asteroid and accelerate it at Earth. So Earth is going to... This is going to be challenging because an asteroid is quite small and lining it up is going to kind of be hell. Um, I don't know if I can actually pull this off realistically. But the game does give us a line to work with. So let's get... Haley Comet and put it here. Oh, shoot. Pause. Put Haley's Comet here and then set Sagittarius A to negative mass, right? Negative mass. Turn down time a little bit. Do do. Okay. Play. Haley's Comet is now being accelerated very quickly we'll actually just place earth right in front of its path let's just see how fast we can get it going this way so the speed is all we're already at a third of light speed guys we're almost at half of light speed oh my god oh we're past half of light speed barely any time has went by as well but we're losing the acceleration and it looks like we're going to be stuck at about 0 0.555 light speed which is definitely a lot of speed. Okay, so now that we have uh, Haley's Comet moving at half of the speed of light, we are going to put Earth right here. Impact T minus whatever the number is. Let's make sure it's going very slow so that we don't accidentally miss the collision. Okay. Oh, that, that, that is still pretty fast. Like, at least 12 speed. Yes, at least 12. We may even be doing 13 at this point. Oh, it's gonna miss. Or is it? Is it, is it just gonna graze Earth? Honestly, it might be more interesting if it just barely... It looks like it's just gonna barely hit Earth. But is that going to just spin Earth really, really, really fast? Is this like the grazing shot of the century? Does it hit? I think it does. No, it definitely does. This is insane. It's going to just barely, barely hit China at like the most slight angle of all time. Here it goes. Oh, this is going to spin the Earth so fast. This is going to spin the Earth so fast. <laughs> Oh my god. Antimatter cannon. Oh, it's hitting. Oh, what what's even going to happen? The game the game hasn't even registered the collision. Haley's comet is just inside of Earth now. Did it really it just went through Earth. 
It literally, China just did not exist. Okay, we're gonna have to move, we're gonna have to move Earth a little bit so that we get an actual collision. Let's do it like that. Okay, let's, let's try again. This time we should actually get a collision. Is it? Wait a second. What? Oh my god, it went really- oh, jeez. Oh, uh, uh, it didn't even hit the right spot. The game was just like, no. <laughs> it didn't- it didn't hit the spot I expected. Earth is now very warm. It is at, uh, 12 million degrees Celsius, all of Earth. The impact site, it- oh, oh, wait a second, do you- do you see that? Wait, can I have Earth back real quickly? Did did you guys see that graph? This makes literally zero sense. And, and let me explain why this makes zero sense. There's just a ring. There's just a single ring. That's not even where it hit. That's not even where it hit. But the ring... All of Earth is 27 degrees Celsius, right? And then this ring hits like three billion degrees. <laughs> Wait, how many how many digits is that? Like I can't even tell. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three billion degrees. Oh my god, is that gonna spread out over time? It's cooling down rather quickly. Is that is that gonna spread over the rest of Earth or is this ring just gonna remain? No. Wow. Imagine being on that ring. You could be like, I'm three billion degrees, look how hot I am. And then just dissolve into nothingness as you vaporize because the molecules that make you up cannot handle that much. Damn. Damn, that's pretty intense. Okay, so I guess we learned a lot today, guys. Um... Make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Spike if you want to see my Civ and Minecraft series. And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. We, we've learned a lot. I don't know what we've learned, but we've learned a lot. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We'll destroy the world in more creative ways in the future. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.